In this video, we are going to look at putting together a basic menu layout using Viva Builder. On the screen, you'll see that I have already added a number of menu items to Better Food Menu. I've also added some menu sections, such as main courses, breakfast, cocktails, and also some diets and allergens. So let's jump across to the front end and I'll show you how to put together a basic menu. Okay, so I've opened up a page using Viva Builder and it's completely empty at the moment. On the right hand side, if we now scroll down to the bottom of the module section, you can see that we have three modules for better food menu. One is the menu filter, one is a menu section, and one is a single dish. So first I'm gonna bring the menu filter onto the page. Now the menu filter is going to be a series of buttons split into two. So the first section of buttons is the diets that we can cater for. And the second section is the allergens. The buttons will initially inherit the styles from your theme, but we can override these in a number of ways, which I'll show you in a future video. So for now, I'm just going to leave this as a horizontal menu filter and leave all of the other settings as default. So next we can add a menu section to the page and I'll do so by adding it to a new row. And you'll see that we have a number of items already on the page. And the first thing I'll do is simply add a title. And as with the menu filter, we will look at styling this in a future video. I will however just jump very quickly to the item layout, which is the structure of this module and just show you that we have a few different layouts that we can choose here. In this case, we have image left, but we could choose image right or image above, or we could have poster image. And that will overlay the text on top of the image. At that point, we probably need to change the image size, but we'll look at that in a future video. So for now, I'm gonna leave it as image left. Whilst we're here, we might as well add a bit of spacing between the menu items, we'll say 20 pixels. And for now, we'll leave that as it is. What we could do at this stage, if we had applied some styling to this module, is now duplicate it, add it to a different column, and simply change the section that we want to display. Finally, we can add a single dish to the page. Single dish modules are great for displaying a signature dish or perhaps you have an offer on for a specific night of the week and you can apply uh, an item layout or some styles to it just as you would a menu section. In this case, what I'll do is set this to a poster image and use a large image so we are covering the full width of the module. And I'll just center the information. And very quickly, I will add a background to the item information, which is the title, description, and the price. And for now, we'll leave it just like that. So let's hit save, and I'm gonna publish this. Now that's published, we can see our various items that we've added to the page. And if we start to click on the different buttons we can see that the menu is changing. Uh, it's slightly hard to see what filters are active at the moment because this theme uh, doesn't support an active class, only a hover class, um, but we'll address that in a future video. But for the purposes of this demo, I could say that uh, I want to see dishes suitable for a pescatarian that don't contain nuts or egg, and that's what we're left with. Great, so we have a basic layout set up and in the next video we will look at styling the menu filter buttons uh, using the Beaver Builder settings. See you then.